Hey guys, we're over here at Big Jimmy's $5 large pizza in Tempe, Arizona. And today I'm going to show you the basic startup and operation of a Hobart H600 mixer. So first things first, you've got your bowl and most likely you've already mixed your dough inside of it uh, or your dough ingredients, I should say. So what you'll do is you'll take this bowl, all right, and you'll put it right on what's called the yoke or the arm, if you will. Make sure it locks in place, all right? A lot of times these will be too hard to turn on some of the older mixers, but if you can turn them, make sure they're locked in place just like that, all right? So, and then you'll move on to your dough hook. You'll set your dough hook inside just like that, all right? You'll wanna make sure that this beater pin is what it's called, is lined up with the notch inside of your dough hook. Push it up and then turn it clockwise until it falls into that divot right there. All right, so your dough hook is on, your ingredients are in your bowl. Now you're gonna raise your bowl. You'll wanna go as high as you can until it stops. Do not turn it past where it stops, otherwise you could damage the threads or your lift nut inside of here. And you also wanna make sure that there's at least a half an inch to an inch of space between the hook and the bottom of the bowl, otherwise you could damage the bowl. And these are very, very expensive. So the next thing is you'll come over here and you'll make sure the mixer is in gear, all right? You always wanna mix dough on speed one. Never use two, three, or four for mixing dough. This is very important. This will tear up your transmission. So always, always, always speed number one. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to set your timer to whatever time you want it to mix for. So we'll set this one to 13 minutes for just for an example. All right, then you'll push your start button one time. And that will start your mixer. Now, when this timer counts down, we're gonna speed up this process a little bit. But when it gets to zero, it will automatically shut down. All right, now this is also very important. Once the dough is stiff, you don't wanna start it again. You wanna make sure that the mixer mixes the entire dough for the entirety of it until you take it out. You don't wanna stop and start and stop and start. This could also damage your transmission. So once the dough is mixed, you'll lower it down. Take your hook off by lifting up and turning it counterclockwise and bringing it down. Now it'll be a little stiff because you have the dough in here already. And then you'll take the hook off, set it aside, pull your levers back, remove your bowl full of dough, and that's all there is to it. That was the basic operation and startup of a Hobart H600 mixer. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If there's something you'd like to see that we haven't yet done, or if you have any questions on the things that we have done, make sure you comment below. And we're gonna be releasing videos every week, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.